Hi, AD. I'm Shay Mitchell, and welcome to my home. Dun dun dun. I moved into this house about four years ago. It was built in the 1920s. It kind of has like a Spanish Mediterranean feel to it, with a little bit of Moroccan. I didn't really know what I liked until I saw it. Luckily, I'm very fortunate to have my good friend Chad Wood come and really help me make sense of the house. And truly, it didn't look like this until 2 a.m. last night. This light above here, funny story. I got this light not thinking that you actually had to make sure the ceiling could hold it. And because it's actually a thousand pounds, it stood like that, well, it hung like that without any sort of crystals for about two years until I finally got the ceiling so that it could hold it. Hopefully it really can hold a thousand pounds of crystals. This is our I like to say formal living room. One of my favorite things about this room is definitely this light fixture. I found it in Morocco and had it sent over here and I just love what it does to the room, especially at night. When it's dark, we just turn this light on and it just spews like all these different beautiful light speckles around the room, which is really pretty. Chad, anything else? Okay, so true story, funny fact, you have to come over here. Yes, you are. I worked with a couple different designers and it never just really came together how I wanted it. Chad, being the amazing friend he is, came in and really helped me work with what I already had. I mean, she already had a lot of great staple pieces that she wanted and then we just kind of built around that. And I always have a love of, you know, finding vintage. So I mix vintage with new and old and just kind of have a lived in space that she wanted it to seem very well traveled, which she is. Each piece is very unique and specific to Shay. One of a kind. Chad and I met, oh my gosh, when I was in my old house. Yeah. He is mm. my florist, friend, hairstylist, designer, um, a fire starter, painter, chef. All of these little touches and pieces are a mix of what Chad brought in and what I have found from some of my travels. This is from Morocco. These are from one of my favorite vintage yes. stores in LA called Pop-Up Home. You went in and yeah. you found so much stuff from that yeah. place. He brought it all back. And one of my favorite things is to come home and just see the house with like new additions to it. This tree stump is actually from the front of my house. I cut it down two weeks ago, no, I'm just kidding. This is from- Here's our, my grandfather's tree it's stump. It's my grandfather's tree it. stump. This is um, from a vintage store. A friend of mine brought it into the room and I just loved it because it really just made it a lot, I don't know, more earthy. Yeah. Is that how we would describe it? I mean, it? I feel like mixing materials is really what we've gone for. This ceiling and these walls were again, a different color. All of these little white beams were painted dark. And, and then we wanted to tie in like these beautiful stained glass windows that we're obsessed with. And then we were just, casually up till two last night painting this fireplace. Yeah, it was tiled before and it was something that I enjoyed years ago, but now I want it to just be super clean. So I just whitewashed the entire thing, cost effective. This probably cost us 70 bucks. Yeah. And it was gonna cost us a quote for like 3,000. Yep. To get it redone. I owe you a dinner. So this dining room, again, has had many different iterations of what it is now. Through it. What about the chairs? I love these, these chairs. chairs. You chairs sent me a text. Fine chairs for dining are table because really she to wanted find. a lot of dining chairs because she thinks she's going to have big parties. We don't invite anyone over. <laughs> it's literally us. These chairs, you sent me a text message, and I remember I was at a stoplight. He sent me this photo, and I'm like, oh my gosh, these are amazing. He's like, if you don't buy it in the next 15 minutes, they're going to disappear, and they're really hard to find. What did I have before? When I first moved in here, I think I Ooh. had lilac velvet chairs. Yep. Dark redwood table. Dark redwood table with a crystal was chandelier. Was a I had about five different light fixtures yeah. in here. Everything went through so many changes because the one thing that you never changed were the redwood floors. Yes. Finally, I was just like, nothing, you're gonna keep changing this house yeah. over and over and it's never gonna feel good to you until you change the floor. So yeah. we had them sanded down, we bleached them twice, and, and I feel like it changed, made sense. it changed the entire vibe of the house. It's probably yeah. the best money we've ever spent. Yeah, I agree. Money and then. You've ever spent. And then you found this again at Pop Up yeah, Home. Pop and I love this because I always see it in like fancy houses, a little pedestal. It actually started in here. You brought it upstairs it to the here, nursery. Then we put it in the nursery because, you know, a baby's room needs a pedestal Definitely with needs a, a pedestal. flower arrangement. This is the kitchen, and it always looks like this, which is, you know, lemons. Can you even eat? 
special. Oh, of course you can eat Great. it. We honestly just like did minor tweaks to this kitchen. We painted this island black. We of course changed the wood floors in here, painted the ceiling a warmer color because there's so much tile detail that you never really noticed it because everything is white. But right. all of these walls are wrapped in tile, which is so beautiful. And then the cabinets. The cabinets on the inside of those were all white before and Chad was like, you need to have all the same kind of plates, all white, keep it fresh, charcoal in the back so that everything pops. And at first I cursed his name because I had so many mix matched plates. But then like four plates. I had about four plates. Yeah. Now you she did has all the like shelves. dinnerware for 200 but again, <laughs> just us. It's just us. I actually, about what, 10 years ago, had a photo of this kitchen saved on my computer. And I remember loving this kitchen when I saw it. Then when the house came available for sale, I was just looking at the house and I realized it was the exact same kitchen as the one that I had saved on my computer. That's yeah, so I don't even think I told you that. that. No. This is probably the kind of table that I should have. It's perfect yeah, for just you and me, Angel. But we still, Atlas. we don't even sit here, we sit here. We always sit up here. Because this is like engaged, there's plugs to like plug things in and the fast yeah. food comes here. That's true. This is Angel, she is a model dog. No, truly, she likes to get into every photo and every shot whenever we're filming here, but she it is. It matches her outfit. It does. Wow. I dyed her to match the rest of the house, so she was originally um, a different color. <laughs> Hi, bubs. This is the entertainment room. So this bookshelf, I think we saw it in, what was it? I think we saw it in Architectural Digest. There was this beautiful room with a bunch of books all turned the other way. It's like late and I'm like, let's change the bookshelf. Let's change the bookshelf. Okay. But we changed the bookshelf one time. We turned all of the books the other way so you yeah. could just see the pages. My boyfriend came home and couldn't find something he was looking for. So I realized that's probably not the best thing to do when you have a bookshelf at this size. And it can easily be too busy with books. So by like categorizing them all into colors, it makes it kind of look like art. This was a couch that I had custom made. We made it so that it was super wide, that it could fit friends that were 6'8". And it's really the place where I hang out. Anytime I have a day off, this is where I am. Here, posted, my postmates watching. TV. Yeah, I'd say this definitely. is probably the most used room in this house. And, and it's dark and sexy and very much a mood and vibe for you. These accent pillows were actually brought in this morning. Mm -hmm. <laughs> After Chad finished painting the fireplace, he brought in these pillows. Um, before that, I had these black and white ones that you said were too harsh for this room. And this couch is really comfortable, even for you. I mean, being 6'8", I mean, come on, show everybody how... Yes, it's comfy. So deep. And then we put our feet up on here. This is us. We watch our stories. This is us. What are our stories, our shows? <laughs> I just like to call shows stories. Okay. We watch all of our stories. Oh, you just added those candles. I love that. <laughs> what she loves about crystals is because I told her crystals were chic yes. and that she needed crystals. Mm -hmm. Crystals are great for energy. I love to have like elements in a room. So I always like to have like fresh flower arrangements, mm -hmm. candles, candles lit, earthy, like stone. I like leathers Sage. and like... I don't like sage. Oh, you don't. Sage makes me like sneeze. Okay. This is a recent addition to the living room. It is a beautiful bassinet by Aristotle, and they sent it to me when Atlas was born, and it just kind of fit perfectly in this room. So thank you guys for sending that. And it, yeah, it's one of her favorite places to hang out in the room. It's actually her only place to hang out in this room since she can't sit up yet. And this is mom's favorite place to hang <laughs> out in the room. And this is mom's room. This is a little bar area. Again, for all the times that I don't entertain, it's where I like to hang out with Chad. We just like to know that we're fully we like prepared know, yes. for a really big party. Maybe we'll have a party tonight. We could have a party tonight. You've got the glam. I love this little bar area because I remember when I first saw this house, I saw this room and it was off the living room. I had no idea idea what to do with it. We just created this little speakeasy that flows into the outside. This statue, so my good friend Leanne Ford, who's also an amazing designer, she helped me bring in some of her favorite vintage pieces as well, and this guy was one of them. So yeah, I've named him Jack Cavassier. And um, Cavassier? Cavassier. Cavassier. <laughs> okay. Covassier. I have my record player over here with some of my favorite records. It's just a really cool, fun spot to hang out. What are you pulling out yeah, over there? That's not. That's a book. That's the book. It's supposed so, to go on the bookshelf. It's supposed to go on the bookshelf. What are some of the records that I have? Stereo. Iggy Pop. Lil Kim. Joni Mitchell. <laughs> Adele, she obviously. Loves, you know, old vintage, so Adele. 
these are all original tiles that were on the entryway, along with the door handles for these two doors. This is a closet door, and this one leads into the dungeon. Just kidding. To the laundry room. Should I blow out these candles? No, we'll let them burn. Oh, we have this room. Turn the lights on. Wait, we gotta do that again. This is the nursery, Atlas's room. This room probably had the biggest makeover. It was my junk room. It was like a faux guest room. It was a faux guest room. But this I room had... did kick it off, though. Yeah, it we really did. We started with this room. First thing was, was the color. Fun. What did we, so I want? We wanted to play on like masculine and feminine. This color it's like was a just like a smart pink. We wanted to make it also like purposeful, so she could have a bed in here for guests and. We built this custom hide-a-bed right here. Added in these lights, he made it like a really comfortable little reading area too, which I love. I think the first piece that I bought was this crib, and that's kind of how we based everything else around it, from yeah. changing the knobs on that dresser that I'd already had. We wanted like the harder lines mixed with like the softer. The other thing were these lights were downstairs. I don't think you should sit. I don't think so either. Okay, fine. This rug was another really special find. You mm. just picked it out. I remember Chad calling me and being like, are you at the house? I have these guys coming in an hour. They're going to show you different rugs. Hopefully you pick the one that I like. Mm -hmm. I didn't, but I picked a second favorite one. <laughs> After we put this oh, rug in, it really did pull in the whole room. My other favorite thing about this room is definitely the collage wall. It's... Well, we didn't want it to feel like such a staged house and, and bring it kind of back into like family and your travels and we wanted the room to feel a little bit well-traveled. We really did choose her name because we've traveled to so many different places and Atlas just felt perfect for us and for her and so now she can kind of see where you know, we have been. My favorite photo is obviously the 3D scan of Atlas when she was still in my stomach. The ultrasound photo, I'm so in love with that. She looks just exactly like that right now. Not a little bit better. This is my favorite part. Okay, as you turn the corner, just be like, chink. This is my favorite part now. Walking into this bedroom. What did you call it, Chad? You're like, it's serene. It's serene. This room has been truly the bane of my existence. Is it vain of my existence, bane? Bane. There was some weird electrical outlet that is now covered by this picture frame <laughs> that we had to work with. But we um, wanted it like that But too, we wanted so it like this too. The bed was custom. And we had it covered in this like great mohair. But our first purchase were these nightstands. I, I love loved those. them. I sent her a picture, she bought them immediately. And then we kind of built the room around those. And but then I we... have to be honest. Chad was out of town. <laughs> he had picked the color of those walls. Actually, we both had. And I was coming home from a trip. So I was like, Chad, we chose the wrong color. It's Everything's brown. brown. Everything's brown. This baby's about to come any moment now. And he was like, just relax, calm down. You're really emotional right now. She it's all going to come together. And it really did. This rug also came from Chad. You had asked. No, we got this from an estate sale. Oh, yes. It's a Moroccan rug. And I feel like you get some of these rich tones in here, but it kind of like anchors the room. And there is traditional architecture in this house, painting over everything and having a little bit of that like yeah. French vibe by making the room a little bit seem a little bit bigger, even though it's a darker color. We went all the way up to the crown molding. Crown molding. Yeah, to the ceiling. You brought and all, all the way up. to the baseboard. And then we painted the doors as well. So it just kind of made it a little bit more homey and cozy. And yeah. I love this chair. I remember seeing it in this hotel that I. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. What was that? I just honestly, I just love this it's chair. I don't chair. actually know where it's it a came tough chair. from. We don't know. It's broken. It's you can't sad. sit in it. I don't think I've ever Ooh. gone outside on that balcony. Oh, you've called down, and you were like, "Come on up." <laughs> Come up. Yeah, it's okay to tag, Chad, just, test it out. We redid all the outdoor lighting and we're in the midst of changing all the plants. And then we're going to have all these decks and door frames painted, painted a deeper brown. I don't really utilize my outdoor space as much as I would like to, but we did just recently get a pizza oven. So I'm excited to set that up in the back and then host more of those parties I've always wanted to throw for mm -hmm. another time. All right, AD, thank you guys so much for coming into our home. Uh, <laughs> it was so nice having you here and getting to relive some of our favorite moments in this house. Yeah, thank you so much. Yeah, now I have to feed her, so fortunately I'm gonna have to say goodbye. But um, thank you for coming and we'll see you again. Bye. Bye. We'll still see you. Uh -huh. The dining light.
was the light that was in here. So it came down to here. So just do that mental image for me. 